currently waiting for a cab a cab so I can go get myself some cigarettes <laughs> a cab so I can get myself some cigarettes that's that's basically what my plans are right now cuz I'm learning how to be an independent bitch even though I'm working through a lot of fucking pain but I'm still being an independent bitch cuz I refuse to go back to a man who does not respect me or my children or anyone else that is in my life and mental health matters at the end of the day mental health matters and if someone's not doing good with your mental health say goodbye to them wave if you have to S say goodbye I don't need you in my life goodbye and then you do what you need to do to be happy and that's what I'm doing motherfucker keeps calling me and expecting me to pay to talk to him why would I pay to talk to someone I don't want to talk to I had to cut ties with a family member because his mental health was destroying mine I'm there with you I'm right there with you I, I, I refuse to be treated like shit by another fucking man. Change that number. Oh, I am. I am going to change the number. Fuck him. You know, get the fucking hint, Jason. Like, he did it to himself, man. He did it to his fucking self. I don't care if he's upset. I don't care if he's sad. I don't care. I don't care. Did, did he care when he hurt my child? Did he care that he was hurting me? Did he care then? Oh, no. Now that he's caught... Now that he's in deep shit, now he cares. Now he wants to be a better person. And I am done with the bullshit with men. I am done with the bullshit with men. I don't want to deal with them. I just don't want to deal with their bullshit. I don't give a fuck. He's not welcome here in this place. My landlord ain't gonna allow him in the place, so whatever. And then his fucking, like, therapist called and and asked me if, if Jason's around. And I'm like, no. He's in motherfucking jail. He beat the shit out of my son. And I don't care if he's in jail. Do you know when he's gonna get out? No. And I don't fucking care. Like, and I know I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But I'm dealing with this shit the best I can. <sighs> I'm like, I'm like seriously like mad mode, man. I just, I just don't want to deal with the shit anymore. I don't want to deal with his shit. I don't want to deal with other people's shit. I just want to deal with my own shit. And that's hard enough as it is. I'm just going to chill today. I'm going to play some uh, Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. I'm I'm just, uh, processing trauma is hard. Yeah, it is. And 
And then my sons are seeing how miserable I am. And they're saying, you could bring back Jason if you want to. And I'm like, no. That's not why I'm miserable. Is because he's not with me. It's because I feel really fucking bad that I allowed this situation to, like, last so long. I'm I'm really disappointed in myself that I, I wasn't strong enough to stop it. And I'm beating myself up over it. Like, I'm legitly fucking sorry that I fucking just... was brainwashed to think this man was good for me and he wasn't he made me miserable and I tried I tried to defuse the fights I, I tried to do what I was supposed to as a wife But, you know, I did everything I was supposed to as a wife. He didn't do shit that he was supposed to as a husband. Like, he broke that marriage covenant long before I did. Long before I did, he broke it in, in, in just horrible ways. And here I am stuck feeling like, he, is he going to change? Is he going to change? Is he going to change? And he never fucking changes. He never does. He never will. So fuck it. Fuck it all. Thank you. Yeah, he never even tried to get a job. He never tried to do anything. Like, he never truly, like... He never truly sacrificed himself for us. And it's like, all all we're doing is sacrificing for him. That's how I feel. Like, he doesn't put any initiative into what he wants. He just expects it to be given to him. One minute. I know, man. I know. Gave that man everything I had left to give a man. Everything. <laughs> now, I have nothing left to give a man. You have always had to take care of other people. Now it's time to take care of you. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, 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 I do not have to take care of a man boy. Like, I'm just waiting for a cab right now. I want to get some cigarettes. I'll be honest. I want to get some cigarettes. <laughs> I'm like, give me some fucking cigarettes. I need to distress. Cause, cause, cause for some reason, the, the, the e-cig, the, the vape is not doing what it needs to do. It's, it's not like proper nicotine. Hi, Tragic. You never appreciated Bodega Love and we were just online pals. He was always on your phone trying to start fights with me and others. Yeah, that's true, Trag. I 
everyone has their faults in a relationship, but at least Shani sees there needs to be a change. You don't. Yeah. He never wanted to enjoy the merge, Shani. No. No, he didn't want anyone to enjoy anything. He's a dick. He wants everyone to be miserable. Thank you, Darlene. Yeah, we're good, Traj. We're good. How you doing, hon? I heard you're going through it. I see you're going through it. Like, I'm sorry about that, dude. Like, here's the thing, Traj. Like, or would you want me to call you Matt? I don't know. However you want to be called. But... He always acted, like, super jealous toward you. Like, he, he thought there was, like, something that would happen between the two of us. And I'm like, like, don't you trust me? Like, you think I'd be trusted a little bit, you know? <laughs> I have been very loyal. But he always got all jealous every time you talked to me. And it was, like, so weird. But here he is, like, talking to women all the time. And I don't fucking, like, go crazy on him. Even though he acts like I do. Like, every time he talked to a woman and I was like, Who you talking to, hon? He'd, like, freak out on me. Like, what the fuck is that? Why are you freaking out? I just asked who you talking to. <laughs> that was red sign. That was red flags right there. That was red flags. Yeah, I've been all right. Yeah, I tried being nice to him. He was super jealous. Let him go. He's better off. Dude, I already let him go. <laughs> I dropped his ass off at the police and I was like, here, you take him. <laughs> He's your problem now. That's what this sister w did. Straightforward. Straightforward. I got three minutes and then I'm going to have to go. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, y you could have killed my son. You know? Like, it was almost like he was waiting to beat someone up. And he just chooses the weakest out of all of us. No one will miss Rev. He was, like, legit like your parrot oh it was so annoying it's like he just repeat back everything i'd say and it's like dude can you conversate at all yeah exactly darlene laugh out loud yes constantly repeating yeah exactly Right? Oh my god. It was so annoying. So annoying. And he'd say it louder than me. It was like almost like he was mocking me. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid about that. Yeah, you see that a lot in your streams. Like a parrot. Yeah. He would force you to go lie, and I know how about how he treated you and the kids offline. It was so disgusting. Yeah. Exactly. You will pass away. Surprise yourself how strong you can be, and those boys depend on just you and proud, too. Yeah. Right? Alright. I gotta check out. I'll be back in a little bit. Probably on Twitch, though. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just going 
to get myself something, some cigarettes. Try to distress. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't imagine. All one-sided BS. Yes. It's completely one-sided to say someone's in jail and is in jail and being charged for something. Anyway. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs>